Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about that holidays aren't the same anymore, specifically when you're an adult. Now, I'm just going to go through the popular holidays that, you know, people in America celebrate the most, and go through, and um, what I, how I celebrated it when I was a kid, and how I celebrate now as an adult. And I'm going to, and after all of that, I'm going to just, you know, explain why everything has changed since we've grown up and we're now adults. First up, we got Valentine's Day. Now, honestly, I think Valentine's Day is more like an elementary school thing because I would just go to elementary school on Valentine's Day, have my own cute little goodie bag, and it's all filled to the brim with Valentine's Day cards from everybody in my class and mostly candy, you know. People would be like, oh, happy Valentine's Day, blah, blah, blah. And it's just candy, mostly candy and cards. So I would just tear down on the candy. I, I don't care. Like nowadays when you're an adult, you can buy your own chocolate, binge watch some romance movies, and um, watch it with your significant other, your cutesy little boyfriend, girlfriend, or partner. But if you're single, you can just eat chocolate by yourself. Who cares? But and if you're allergic to top chocolate, I am very sorry. Anyway, after that, we got Easter. Oh boy, I was super excited for Easter. Like I would wake up super early in the morning just to see what's inside my Easter basket and I would tear down all that stuff, like cool toys and bubbles, you know, those little like soapy bubbles you'd use to just blow them and stuff like that. I loved bubbles when I was a kid and also candy. And then all the, you know, all the fun dies down when your parents um, tell you, all right, kids, time to get dressed. We're going to church. Ugh, I would, ha I hated that moment. I, like all the hype I had for Easter just dies down because church back then for me was so boring. I would almost fall asleep every time. Ugh, can't they make church any fun at all? Instead of just, you know, something, but I don't know. Anyway, it's just, it is what it is. Now, Easter, Easter now as an adult, I guess I would just pass it by like any other, any other type of person or any other adult. And if I ever go, and if my parents ever make me go to church, then I would have no choice. I have no say in the matter because, you know, I don't go to church that much anyway. So, all right. Next up, we got 4th of July. Woo-wee, boy. I, I didn't like 4th of July that much because of the fireworks when I was a kid. But then over time, I, I grew fond of fireworks because I think they're super cool. And I would, sell, you watch, I would watch fireworks every year as a kid, almost every year mostly. But as an adult, I don't get to watch fireworks that much anymore, as much as I'd love to because this year... I didn't get to do that. I did I did go to like a little 4th of July parade downtown where I live, but it's not fireworks. It was never fireworks. And that's because um, I was busy during that time. I was like, you know, spending time vacationing. My mom was in Alabama with my, little, with my younger brother and his friends. And then after she came back, we prepared for Kansas so I can see her family and stuff like that. It was just a lot of vacationing and going to a concert. It was just a lot of fun times during that um, during that month. And we never got to spend, watch any fireworks, sadly. So hopefully next year we get to watch fireworks. Because, you know, the, the, the not so fun part is just waiting until it gets dark. You usually wait super early, like it's like purplish yellow, you know in the sky and you have to wait until it's super dark. Like that's the boring part about the 4th of July. But whenever fireworks come around, whoo, everybody is screaming. Everybody is screaming, whoa, fireworks. All right, next up, we got Halloween. Ooh, Halloween. The good old days when you dress up in cool costumes and and wander around um, near your neighbor's house and you know, scream trick or treat and get free candy. And, um, and the next day, um, you would go to your school and you would argue who has the most candy, who, who got the most candy. And if you got the most candy in your class, then you're probably popular. Who knows? 
Nowadays, when I'm an adult, I still dress up every once in a while whenever I get the cool opportunity. Like two years ago, I dressed up um, as a gangster and went to a Halloween party, although it wasn't that fun. Last year, I didn't do anything that much because I don't know if my mom, my mom was too busy or we didn't um, we didn't know what to do during that time. But this year, thank God we did something because whenever I get the opportunity to dress up in costumes, it makes Halloween more fun and more exciting because I love costumes. I think they're cool. Costumes, cosplay, anything about costumes and stuff is cool. So hopefully next year, I'm hoping next year, you know, I get to do something cool. So anyway, we can't forget about Thanksgiving. I used to, I'm not, I was never a big fan of Thanksgiving when I was a kid. It's one of my least favorite holidays. That's because I was super picky and didn't eat any of the stuff they had in my, um, in my grandma's house or whoever I was at. But now I eat turkey. The turkey's either too dry or too wet. Honestly, I prefer it dry than wet because, you know, when I eat it wet, it's weird. Some parts of it's either too dry or too wet. And I just picked random parts of the turkey. I never picked the leg. I usually let my brothers eat the leg. They, I let them take the legs. But when it comes to the pieces, I'll eat it. And it's not too bad, actually. I enjoyed this year's Thanksgiving. It wasn't too bad. Now for the grand finale, Christmas. Everyone's favorite holiday. They seem to celebrate way too early these days. Or these years as they go by. We can never forget about that Mariah Carey song. All I want for Christmas is you. And I would be super, super excited. Like my mom and dad would be like, you better go to sleep now or Santa won't come. When your parents tell you that, it's going to be super hard to not fall asleep. Because you would just stay up all night hearing those little jingle bells, just expecting for Santa to come. But you just can't, you can never see Santa Claus, apparently. Just, you know, come down your chitney and just give you gifts. Like, when I was a kid, I would always, I always get a bunch of gifts that I would always want. And just, you know, mess with them all day and all week until after a while I get bored and, you know, get more Christmas gifts as the years go by. But now as an adult, I seem to not ask for a whole lot of gifts as the years go by. And honestly, less is better. And all of a sudden, I noticed a weird change during Christmas, specifically during 10th grade. I would get everything I ever wanted for Christmas. And then as soon as I get it, it just didn't feel like Christmas. Like, I know Christmas is not about gifts. It's about spending time with family. But I feel like most people these days just focus on gifts. It's either what you get for Christmas or what you're, or what you're giving to your family for Christmas. Like, it's just 10th grade wasn't the same after that. But as years passed... Christmas wasn't so bad. It's just that one time during 10th grade for me that just didn't feel the same. And I think I know why. I think I know why holidays aren't the same anymore as an adult. It's because as we get older, we have higher expectations for what we're expecting for ho for holidays, specifically for Christmas. We would always expect to get so many gifts, but then... It's just never filling up the tree. Like, you would have this cute little um, tree skirt. And as long as all of the presents would cover the skirt, that means you would have a good Christmas. But if it doesn't cover the skirt, then I guess you wouldn't have that many gifts or not have a fun Christmas. But hell, I still intend to enjoy most holidays. Some I would just brush I would just brush by and just forget like they even existed because what's the point of celebrating those those holidays mostly Valentine's Day. Screw that. <laughs> but hell, if you want to make if you want if I want to make holidays special, I'm hoping one day in the future these holidays will be different. Holidays are different each year and if you like them, if you like them for each year, good for you. And if you don't, good for you, I guess. So anyway, what? tell me what your favorite holiday is in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!